how to create multiple templates basically for scanning to different path if you have if you are pretty much in a mid-size or large network but you want to create multiple paths could because uh, the HR department or the warehouse and another departments want to have their own particular folder or maybe John Mary and David would like to have their own folder they like to scan to their own folder directly there is a way to do that basically the way that works to scan to multiple uh, network path log into the copiers top access again open up your browser put in the IP address up here get to the top access click on the administration tab log in one through six go ahead and log in once you're in here the first step, first step you need to do is go into the save us file setting now we're going to tell the copier exactly what we want to do we know we want to go send the scan directly to a storage path but on the use the network folder destination make sure you you can leave it on use local folder that's fine but the very critical uh, option is once you go down you scroll down you make sure you make sure the remote one this option is selected allow users to select destination also remote two you will allow users to select the reason we do that we're going to see why in a minute because this particular option will open up other options within the configuration of this copier so now we have this set up we know we could create multiple templates uh, once we do that make sure you save it click OK now the next step to create those multiple templates up here there's a link that says registration now we're looking at the gray link here the gray tab click on registration as soon as you do that here they are these are your templates these are we call them scan templates once you're here within the same window down here scroll down now this particular copier has different templates you could scan to pretty much these users have their own templates you could create it looks like up to uh, 200 templates for 200 different users but within those templates you can create different templates for a particular user I'm gonna go ahead and use pretty much what you're gonna use is you're gonna look for the next template that's available pretty much this one is uh, anything that says undefined means it's empty so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one click on that give it a name that's basically what you need just the name is fine click on save once you click on save now we are in the test template within test now he this particular user has all these boxes all these templates scan templates you could create and test could have up to 60 different templates basically means 16 different options you could set up or 16 different path now within test now the first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and select the number one template in this box so we're going to click on that once we're here what is it that we want to do we want to scan and we know we and the copy knows it's going to go to save us file so it puts a check mark there already click on the next step will be select the agent click on that the panel settings will say scan to file that's what we want within this window scroll down these are the options that you definitely need to set up the scan to file click on the scan to file settings window opens up it will go PDF that's the default setting multi that basically means one attachment scroll down now this is very important always make sure you do not want to scan to the local hard drive of the copier make sure you uncheck this make sure this box is clear once that's done then select remember we use remote one or remote two now we have two options to create two paths but the first one we'll use is remote one this is going to be the default this is what the user is going to see when they go to their template now we're going to create a path for, for this user going to the server because it's going to be their template and then we're going to go backslash it's going to go scan that's going to be the scan folder actually it's going to be test and then backslash then scan now we do need a username and password it does not have to be the username and password of this particular temp template it does have to be one a username and password where most likely the password is not going to change so your IT has to either create a password a username and password that that password is not going to change the reason behind that if this particular user 
uh, say we're using uh, the scan user and in six months or three months the password change your IT must come in here into each individual template and change that password for each individual user so it's best to have a user account where the password never expires so this way you don't go you, that you don't run into that issue where the scan templates you're not switching password constantly every three months for every single template so again this would be the username and the password could be whatever the password is for that user once you do that pretty much leave it the way it is we know we have the the file settings and this particular settings your IT service will have that the IT support will have this information where the scan is going to be going to username and password if for some reason uh, the scans are not working one of the uh, things that we do sometimes we do put the domain name first and then backslash and then scan you could try that and save those settings see if that works but for now we know it's going to be scan and that's a user and a password so we created a template or for remote one remote two we could leave that empty because it's basically one template click on save now within the same template you have options to create scan settings you could give this particular user special scan settings um, color mode you could do the resolution maybe a little higher by default is 200 you have other options in here you could give this particular user for their own template now once this is set up just click on save and make sure once you go back here it's done this is the first template for this user now you go back in here to get back to the beginning just click on template groups now you're back at the beginning here it is the test template we created if you need to modify a template just click on the user's name click on the first template here click on edit and just pretty much edit their settings maybe you need to change their password the username and password make sure the make that you make the changes click on save you're on your way now again if you need to go back click on template groups now if you need to delete that particular template you click on the user again reset it that basically means that template it is now deleted the user is not there anymore this is the way you create scan templates for individual users.